Good evening, I'm Jamison Ewell. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. Following another scandal in Lakeland, Tampa's police chief fires two of their own officers today, slapping one of them with criminal charges. Our Alex Hobson has been digging deeper into the story. She joins us live downtown with the details tonight. Alex? We were here inside TPD headquarters where Chief Castor could not have sounded more disappointed. She actually used the phrase, a staggering betrayal. But not everyone is on board with one of these firings, and tonight they're firing back. Stunned. Because we had won the complaint review board. Chip Purcell spoke to us outside the Tampa Police Department just minutes after learning his client, Sergeant Ray Fernandez, had just been fired. I think that he was wrongfully terminated. I think he was unjustly terminated. Police Chief Jane Castor announced Fernandez's termination today during a news conference. She said the former DUI supervisor not only lied, but he deleted text messages and allowed a personal friend to exploit his authority the night Phil Campbell was arrested back in January. Campbell was the attorney representing Todd M.J. Schnitt in the high-profile case against Bubba the Love Sponge. This evidence shows that Sergeant Fernandez lost his impartiality and professionalism in dealing with this case. But this wasn't the only bombshell. Castor also announced the termination and arrest of a former officer of the year. According to the chief, Detective Jeanette Hevel was caught by the IRS depositing taxpayer money into her personal account. Castor said back in 2011, Hevel stole multiple IRS money orders from the department's evidence room to the tune of 1900 bucks. And when we asked the chief if this was the only incident, Here's what she said. But I can tell you that my 29 years of experience with the police department, that thieves usually don't do it once. Dripping in disappointment, the chief said she did what she had to do. Neither deserves to serve in this agency that represents the very best. But speaking to that, the Tampa Police Benevolent Association told us they're going to fight Fernandez's firing. In a statement to ABC Action News, their general counsel said, quote, the city did not have just cause to terminate Ray Fernandez, and we plan to file a grievance on his behalf. As for Detective Hevel, well, she's now facing felony grand theft charges. Reporting live downtown, Alex Hobson, ABC Action News.